Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick little comparison here of the uh, speed, camera and battery performance of the brand new Galaxy uh, LG G5 and the Xiaomi uh, Mi phone or Xiaomi Mi 5. So basically these are very nice uh, devices here and uh, wanted to uh, check it out how they could perform day to day, both Snapdragon devices so we have charged them both to the max as well as you can see so we can have a look at the uh, the performance of the battery just going to restart them at the same time so we can see the boot up speed and we still have some nice sounds with the Xiaomi So as we can see the G5 is a little bit faster booting up, uh, I think the Mi is a little bit slow, it is on the latest software though, uh, I think uh, latest Mi UI, so it was the first uh, Mi UI was quite buggy. And we can just uh, basically show you this is a 3 gig model 64 gigs internal storage at uh, 2.2 gigahertz on the Mi 5 and obviously this is a uh, very nice G5 so can have a look here how they compare and have a look to see the performance day to day so this one slides around on the table like mad the Mi 5 but you can see the, the G5 is nice and stuck both don't have an app drawer as well which makes it very easy to go in and out of stuff but it does take some getting used to and they're both extremely fast as you can see you know I mean I've probably saw the G5 a little bit faster on the first couple of ones but it wasn't uh, a massive difference so I probably give it to the G5 you know it is that little bit quicker on a few of them if we're to be honest uh, we can just as well have a look at the music again G5 uh, a game loads of game very fast as you can see which is good so we can just move on now to the uh, web browsing I have already done a Wi-Fi test and uh, you don't really get extra extraordinary scores with the Snapdragon 820 to be honest So a little bit slow here to uh, get into it on the uh, the me. So why isn't it coming up with the search tips? That's annoying. So go. Wow. So a lot faster here with the G5. Verge. And as I said, you know, this is the latest software on the Mi 5. You can see it's still very slow. I noticed this, uh, what's this pop up?
Wow. I don't think the Mi 5 has its own browser, that's why I'm using Chrome. And if it does, then I don't want to use it because I want to use Chrome because it's got all my, you know, save bookmarks, etc. Uh, so I definitely think the G5 is more stable in terms of the software. Let's just put it that way. Uh, we can just uh, round off with a quick little test of the the um, stuff here, the multitasking stuff. So. You see how slippery this <laughs> Mi 5 is. I mean, it's like it's a it's a phone reviewer's nightmare. It just moves around constantly. But I think the G5 is going up with them a little bit faster. You know, maybe you get a slightly bit better performance with the Mi 5, which has four gigs of RAM, but. Then again, a lot of it is animation. And I think the G5 just looks a little bit faster again. So I think you can see here, folks, flawless victory when it comes to the G5. Uh, it is uh, obviously much more expensive phone, but you are going to get that performance and stability if you do stump it up. Uh, we can have a look at the cameras as well. So. Uh, we did do a uh, comparison here of the cameras on both of them and uh, basically uh, I think we can see that the performance uh, on the Mi 5 is very good especially when you put the HT mode on for the low light uh, but you can't quite muster the same level of quality as the G5 camera uh, which I did notice uh, like taking some of these low light shots uh, it's good, don't get me wrong, but not quite as good as the G5 in the end of the day. Uh, you can have a look for yourself just to show you that I'm not uh, messing around. In terms of the good light, you know, it's very comparable really. I think the good light is uh, the strong point of the Mi 5. Uh, but then again, the uh, G5 does have the wide lens, which, you know, is pretty awesome when it comes to getting more stuff in, like the picture. Uh, and uh, making it uh, more engaging. I think the bokeh effect is a little bit better on the G5 as well for the close-ups, uh, but you can uh, judge for yourself. Uh, quite comparable when it comes to the selfie cam, you know, not a huge difference there really. Uh, so uh, we did do a video uh, test as well on both of them, and uh, overall I was quite uh, impressed with uh, both of them. You can have a look at that here guys so we're just doing a quick little video comparison here between the LG G5 and the Mi 5 both Snapdragon 820 devices different prices obviously but both of them definitely do 4k and have optical image stabilization I think so you can have a walk around here see which one you prefer And to the screen, I think uh, the G5 looks a little bit more stable, like when moving around. So I'll look at the focusing. So again, I think the G5 a little bit more steady there with the focusing. But both of them look quite good, nevertheless. So in terms of the video, I'd probably give it to the G5 again, just based upon the focusing stability, probably because of that laser system in there, but the 4K on the uh, Mi 5 punches above its weight for the price, and I'm very uh, happy with it. Uh, so, you know, what, what can you say about these two? Personally, I prefer the G5, if I'm to be honest, you know, it's... Uh, even though the Mi 5 is, you know, very affordable handset, I think there are some issues with design which make it a little bit, uh, like, uh, annoying compared to the G5, such as the, you know, the slippiness of it, as well as the software stability, I don't think it's quite up there with the G5. Uh, and also with the G5, you are getting the... Uh, the uh, thing always on display so you can get your notifications up which is really nice 
Uh, however, where the G5 does fall down is in terms of the battery life. As you can see here, we are getting 97% versus 99%. So if you're into longevity, I think the Mi 5 is probably the better choice here. Uh, both of them come with Type C, obviously, which is very nice. Uh, and also, I think the back of the Mi 5 looks more attractive than the G5. From to be honest, it's more minimalistic. I just wish it wasn't as slippy, you know, when you're using it on the desk. Uh, really so yeah very nice phones nevertheless and i'm sure you won't be you know uh, unhappy whichever one you do go for hope you enjoyed the comparison found it helpful and i'll see you with the next one cheers